Start off with your booties. Put one over each foot. Then move on to the bonnet. Make sure all your hair is inside the bonnet. Assure that all earrings and accessories are off. Put the mask on over each ear. Put the bonnet over your ears. Make sure the mask covers your nose. Pinch the nose so the metal conforms to your nose shape. In order to follow USP 797 standards, remove all jewelry. Turn on the faucet to a lukewarm temperature. Then apply soap. Be sure to scrub your hands vigorously, get between your fingers, under your nails, and all of your forearm, but not going past the elbow. Now rinse your hands, making sure not to touch anything else, and let the water run down to your elbows. Now dry your hands with lint-free paper towels. Now, once your hands are dry, sanitize them. After you're done washing your hands, continue garbing by putting on your gown and making sure all the buttons are buttoned. <music> Lastly, put on the gloves and cover the white part of the gown. Make sure no part of your wrists are showing. The gloves should fit your hands snug. You must also sanitize your gloves. To clean the hood, first grab sterile water, make a puddle that will be absorbed by the lint-free towels. Start at the top of the hood and only wipe one way, which is horizontally. Do not forget to get the pole and the rings on it. Next, wipe horizontally on both of the sides of the hood. Do not forget to wipe the outlet. Wipe the bottom back to front horizontally in the same direction. Repeat the process with 70% sterile alcohol stated by USP 797. The first part of creating compounds aseptically is to read the patient label. Next, grab your medications and be sure to double check that it's the right one with your patient label. Also double check your solution to make sure it's the right concentration as well as the right amount of milliliters. Next, grab a syringe and a needle that is appropriate to the compound that you are making. Before you start compounding, make sure to double check that both your medication as well as your solution is correct and that you know how many milliliters you will be drawing up. 
and putting into the bag. As you take your products out of the basket, make sure that they are 6 inches from you as well as 6 inches from the filter and lay them out in an order that is easy for you to use as you are compounding. As you are unwrapping your products, make sure to put all plastic trash into your trash container so that your space is not cluttered. Before you can be con begin compounding, make sure to sterilize any ports that you might be adding things to. This includes the stopper for your top of your vial as well as the stopper on the IV bag. You sanitize these by swiping three times in the same direction on each product using a different swab each time. Next, assemble the needle. Your syringe should already be uncapped and ready to go. Peel back the wrapper around the needle partially and then screw on the lid making sure not to touch the area where the needle attaches to the syringe. Carefully uncap your needle making sure not to poke yourself and then draw up air for the amount of fluid that you're going to need to pull out from the vial. Once your needle is ready, you can insert into your vial using the 90-45 degree method. That way you don't accidentally core the rubber stopper. Next, you're going to flip the vial over so that you can draw up your liquid, first inserting the air and then slowly drawing out the liquid you need and double checking as you go to make sure you have the right amount. After you have drawn up your solution, you might notice you have a few bubbles in your syringe. Now vigorously tap the syringe in order to get all the bubbles out. If you have bubbles that are hard to get out, you can flip the syringe over and use the bigger bubble at the top to get the smaller bubbles that are near the plunger at the bottom. Once you have all the bubbles out, you can now withdraw your syringe and double check that you have the right amount of medication. If you are 100% sure that you have the right amount of solution, you can now insert it to the bag. Pull the port to the side and make sure that you are not blocking any airflow from the point of where the needle meets the stopper, and slowly insert the medication into the bag. Once the medication is in the bag, you can take it out and slowly cap your needle making sure not to poke yourself. You can use the scoop method for easy inserting the needle back to the cap. Once you have taken your needle off, you should not put it in your normal trash bin, you should put it in the red sharps container where any sharp needles as well as broken glass should be in. Now that your compounding is done, you should put everything back in the tray and pull the syringe to the point of the medication you brought up so that you can give it to your pharmacist for review to make sure that you compounded everything accurately. Pharmacists will double check that you pulled up the right amount of medication by verifying with the syringe you gave and the calculation you have on the receipt. Then she will sign off on your patient label and you will put it on the bag to be sent out to the patient.